Okay, today I'm going to show you how to put in a false tail. Uh, this dressage horse has a bit of a thin tail. We'd like to bulk it out a little bit with a false tail that looks natural and that swings with the back of the horse when he moves. So when I go to put in a false tail, um, I like to open up the centre of the false tail and find the end of the dock, which is here. Open up the centre and about an inch above the end of the dock, I grab a section of hair. Now I like to grab a section of hair that is quite thick or as big as you can fit through your loop. So make sure it's in the centre and about an inch above the end of the dock. So just grab a little bit more hair if you need it so that it's not just sitting on a little bit of hair and there's an extra weight added. So now I've got my section of hair. I'll show you where that is. So that's the end of the dock here. I've gone about an inch above and it's in the centre of the tail where I can put this top hair over the top to cover it. So the first way, I have two ways that I put in false tails. The first way is that if the horse does not have a lot of hair, what I would do is grab this part of the hair, pull that whole section through the loop, and push it, the loop up to the top of the hair here. Now I'm going to start a plait, so I'm going to section it into three. So I'll start a plait. One, two, three. Then I'm going to get the tail. And the tail, remember the whole bit of hair is through the tail. I'm going to swing it over into the middle. So I'll just repeat that again. So it was hanging down here. Swing it over into the middle of the plait. And I'm going to continue to plait again. One, two, three. And again, I'm going to swing the tail into the center of the plait there. And let it fall down and then continue to plait down a little. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now what has happened is that you can see that the whole loop has been included into the tail and it is not just hanging on to one section of the plait. It is plaited into the plait so that the whole weight of the plait is taken, the whole weight of the tail is taken by the plait. So when I put an elastic on this now, so I just plait down a little bit further so I can put the elastic on and move it up. I put the elastic on. Now, I would usually put two elastics on, but then I just tighten it up a bit. So I put two elastics on. Now that you can see, when the other hair is away, the bottom of the dock is exactly matching the top of the false tail. So that when the tail, when the horse moves his tail, when he's working, the tail will go with the dock and is not delayed behind. The second way I like to put in a false tail is to braid it in. So I would braid in a false tail especially if the tail is weighted, so that you've got more hair taking the weight of the tail. So I just take the same bit of hair that I did before with the first, ta first time I put in the tail. So again, it's just an inch above the end of the dock and it's in the center of the horse's tail. So what I do is put the whole loop over the piece of hair. So pull that whole piece of hair through the loop and push it up to the top and it's nearly exactly the same as what we were doing before. So again we're going to split it into three. So I just start a little bit of a plait. So I've just done one, two over this side and I'm just going to add a little bit of hair in.
and again. And then this one I'm going to fold over the loop and bring a bit of hair in. So it's just the same as before except for when you're folding the hair the loop over, you're taking a bit of hair with it as well. So then I'm going to fold the tail over for its last fold over. So I've gone right to left, now I'm going left to right, fold that in, a little bit of hair. And just plait down a little. And then again, put your elastic on. But what we've got is a braid that is now holding the false tail inside the braid. So again, the bottom of the dock is matching to the top of the false tail. And again, we'll elastic it. I usually put two elastics. Don't worry that you've gone too big and it looks a bit messy because you brush the outside of it out. Keep grabbing the sections, back combing right up into that base of that where the tail is sitting. And then what I like to do is once you've finished back combing it, is get a bit of hairspray and hairspray that back comb in. So once we've made a mess of the tail, <laughs> then we're going to brush out the outside of the tail. inside the tail there. And again, when we move the tail, there is no lag with the false tail following the horse's natural movement. 